Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of the Lola Hayes Mysteries. This is part six of our playthrough of the Dunwich Legacy storyline for Arkham Horror the Card Game. Now let's get into it. As shown, we're going to be playing Undimensioned and Unseen. This one, um, this adventure involves us, looks like heading into the wilderness outside of Dunwich Village to go track down and uh, defeat these brood of Yog sothoth So our story so far is that we rescued a whole bunch of people, um, including Francis Morgan, Henry Armitage, Warren Rice, and Earl Sawyer from being sacrificed to Yog sothoth And after that, uh, after that rescue, We've uh, we've been searching this the village of Dunwich, and we found a bunch of documents that um, implicate Seth Bishop in all of this, you know, ridiculousness. And uh, as we're going around looking for Seth, uh, looks like the bunch of the uh, villagers of Dunwich have uh, are, are in a panic. They uh, there's a there's some sort of creature has destroyed has destroyed the home of uh, Seth Bishop. So we uh, we calm them down to uh, learn some more about what, what's been going on here. And they inform us that there was this rumbling to the north. And when they went to investigate, they found the bishop's farmhouse had been torn to shreds. A trail of heavy tracks then led to nearby Cold Spring Glen. And then they, uh, they ask us if we know what to do, mentioning that they couldn't even see the creature until um, before uh, Professor Armitage and his uh, powder of Ibn Ghazi was able to... Um, reveal these invisible beings okay so so we've set up the uh the wilderness outside of outside of dunwich here we've got the cold spring glen that was uh, you know mentioned by the townsfolk there okay let's uh let's continue on with some setup because some more stuff is going to happen here so this is uh this is an interesting one so we've got we managed to save um four uh we managed to save four of the uh you know the potential victims of the Dunwich legacy here, so that's why we uh, we're gonna we're gonna start off with two broods in play. Apparently, the more uh, the more people get sacrificed, the less hungry the broods are. That's just a, just kind of an interesting little mechanic. So another thing we're gonna have to do is um, apparently uh, this um, this story is starting to uh, take a toll on our body and mind here. So we're gonna go find ourselves a new weakness. All right, whoops. So it has to be a madness, injury, or pact. All right, here we go. What do we get? Oh, madness, injury, or pact. Was that correct, or did it, was it? Uh, did I misspeak? Oh, <laughs> oh no, I lost my page. Okay, let's try that again. All right, let's see. Madness, injury, or pact. Okay, so we managed to add to the gates through the gate star deck. And what's this going to do? Okay. If it's not a weakness, insert your deck to score pile. Okay, so this is gonna just remove both copies of a of a card from our deck uh, entirely. So that's not so good. Uh, some other things have also happened to our deck. Last time we managed to uh, accrue six experience points. So combined with the two we had left over, that let us do make a really, really nice uh, change. We bought stick to the plan. So this is stick to the plan is it's one of my favorite cards in the game. It basically lets you set aside uh, three other cards to kind of be in your hand all the time. It's it's pretty great. So what I did is I selected three very, um, well, two very situational events. And then I also uh, spent the other two XP on upgrading our emergency cache. And the reason for this is that um, this means that on the first action of the game, we can uh, gain three resources and draw a card. And we have no, um, we have no risk of drawing our, our uh, well, we didn't have any risk of drawing our uh, our weakness because we didn't have any assets to um, that could be um, destroyed by crisis of identity. However, drawing into uh, through the gates um, on action one would be kind of awful. Yeah, that could that could be a problem. So something else. This just seems like a very. Um, I really like the, this little combination here because this is a very good uh, momentum play on the first turn of the game. You, it's like you spend an action, you, you start off with six, you end up basically starting off with uh, six cards in your hand and eight resources, and it's really good to get yourself, give yourself a jump, shot, uh, jump start. Um, so another thing, stick to the plan. Let us do is um, all of a sudden, thanks to uh, having our very situational elusive and our pretty situational act of desperation. Um, we didn't need a second act of, act of desperation, and we didn't need a we don't need a second emergency cache anymore because we know we're going to have them. 
And uh, thanks to our adaptable here, I've decided to uh, bring in this uh, two copies of this card right here that I think should solve a lot of our problems. I, I've been noticing throughout this campaign that um, we don't have a lot of ways. I mean, we kind of do have some ways to boost our uh, willpower checks through Holy Rosaries and David Renfeld, but um, we've been really getting beaten up by Rotten Remains. And uh, we've been ending the camp, ending our uh, games a lot with like one sanity left. So I think perseverance is going to solve a lot of our problems because um, you know we could we could be on one sanity and we can draw rotten remains, totally fail the check, and we'll still live through it. Um, what's also really nice is that um, perseverance is going to let us uh, take big hits from big monsters and still live through it. And um, I think the the real bonus here is that if um, if we get if we draw that nasty um, beyond the veil that threatens to do ten damage to us with perseverance and maybe an ally or two out, like we could survive that. So I think um, I think it's great that Lola, thanks to buying a guardian card, was able to use a rogue card to swap into survivor cards. She's, she's such a versatile investigator. So let's add these to our deck here too. All right, so I'm really looking forward to see uh, seeing how this like burst of momentum from emergency cash um, on the first action really helps us. Okay, so let's uh, let's review. Um, we are in the wilderness behind Arkham here, and what are we doing here? Rampaging creatures. That's what we're doing. Reports of terrifying entities wreaking havoc across the countryside have caused the citizens of Dunwich to panic. Remember that we. Uh, we need to remember that we calmed them down in order to um, you know, ask them some questions. That make it's the campaign guide said to uh, remember that, so it'll probably come up at some point in this scenario. Worse, the creatures seem to be invisible to the naked eye. Okay, so it looks like at the end of the enemy phase, they're all going to move to random directions, which uh, that could be really bad depending on where we are. And also, we we have two of them in play, so we're gonna we're gonna have a, we might have a hard time staying out of the way of these things. Okay. And what are we trying to do? Saracenic script. The monsters tearing through Dunwich County are immune to traditional weapons. Only by reciting a particular incantation can the creatures be defeated. First, we must search the ruins of Wilbur Watley's home in order to find the final sections of the otherworldly script. Okay, so we need to get two clues, and we need to go over to the Watley ruins. So over here um, to advance the act. Okay, so these things effectively are invincible right now. They cannot be damaged or attacked, except by using the ability on Esoteric Formula. And I have a feeling that we're going to discover that when we go here. Okay. Yeah, this is this one's, this is a this is a pretty tough scenario actually, um, especially when you're playing solo because you know these you know, we've got two of them we've got two of them and uh, and one of us. So um, we're going to see how this goes. All right, but what do we know here? We need two clues, and we have a little bit of time before. Um, the agenda advances. Okay, we know we're gonna play. We're gonna play emergency cash as our first action, and let's let's see where we start here. We start in Dunwich Village. Um, it's got a clue, which is nice. Um, it's got a resign, which is a uh, that seems to be a a theme of uh, the Dunwich Legacy. You can always leave. All right, it looks like there's an ability to let us place our clues on an abomination in play. Yeah, so interesting. Okay. And we have three shroud to deal with, so we really could go well with getting like a magnifying glass. Uh, we, we can't attack these things, so I guess this is one of the rare scenarios where drawing a weapon is not that important. So we're gonna dig hard for magnifying glass, for um, fingerprint kit, and some allies to soak up damage. All right, here we go. So what do we get here? Okay, ooh, art student, excellent. That's exactly what we're looking for. This hand is actually looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I could really go for like another ally right now, but this is actually a pretty decent hand. Okay, do I keep all the cards? I probably do actually. I mean, what's, on the other hand, I, I, I think we can, we can go with these. We have great skill check cards, but I think we don't need all three of them right away. So let's see what we get here. Prepared for the worst. Okay, so that'll help us get a weapon. All right. Okay, so all in all, I think we've got a pretty good hand here. Starting roll. Let's start in Seeker. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Because then we can just, you know, we can play Emergency Cash, then probably play Art Student just to guarantee we get that clue, you know, and put some soak down, and then 
head to the ten acre meadow. So that way we'll uh, we can we'll stay more than one step away from these uh, these nasty monsters. All right, so here we go. So first action, we'll exhaust stick to the plan to play emergency cash. All right, and that'll get us three resources and a card. What do we get? Earl Sawyer. Oh, excellent. Oh, he's gonna help us evade. Oh, that's gonna be really nice this game. That is gonna be really nice. Yeah, because I have a feeling we're going to be evading these guys a lot. And he helps us do it, and he helps us draw cards while we uh, while we do evasion. And he can soak up some damage for us. That's pretty great. All right, so second action, we'll play the art student. Okay, and trigger the art student and get this clue. All right. So third action, we could play our fingerprint kit, or we could play Earl Sawyer. By the way, I think I'd like to stay away, guaranteed, from these broods of Yag sothoth And we're kind of done with this location anyway. So let's head over to the Ten Acre Meadow. What do we got? Three clues, two shroud. Okay, and we can set bait. Each investigator at the Ten Acre Meadow may place one of his or her clues on an abomination enemy in Ten Acre Meadow. Okay, so it sounds like uh, we're going to be placing clues on these things at some point. All right, so that's all three of our actions. All right, let's, to protect our art student, let's swap into, I'm thinking Guardian. Yeah, because that'll open up, take the initiative, and prepare for the worst next turn. So we do that. All right, then we'll draw a card. And oh, we don't draw a card just yet, actually. We need to uh, resolve. We need to resolve these two. So they go. They travel towards a random location. I've uh, created a, a bag full of uh, you know one of each of these locations. So this will this will be an interesting way to resolve it. All right, so let's, let's see what happens here. So this one, let's see where it goes. It goes to the Devil's Hop Yard, so it goes that way. Okay, so put it back in, and then we can we can shuffle the bag, and let's see where this one goes. This one goes towards the Blasted Heath, so it's going to try to go that way. Let's see, it's that's to, the most direct to look, direct path, so we'll go like that. Okay, that's kind of handy. Okay, so um, okay, so that was good that we left the Dunwich Village because then this thing would be on top of us. All right, so we only have one clue. So going to Watley Ruins isn't so necessary. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll probably, um, on our turn, play our fingerprint kit and grab some clues from the Ten Acre Meadow. Okay, so that ends the turn. Let's start a new one. Okay, we go to One Doom, and draw a card. What do we get? Towering Beasts. Ouch. Attached enemy gets plus one fight and plus one health. Oh, that's mean. All right, well, I guess we'll just pick one. We don't intend to go back that way, so let's just put that one there. All right, I'm going to use, I guess I'll use, uh, I'll use a resource to re to kind of connect them. So now we know that's the, that's the big one. All right, so here we go. We want to get some clues there. We're in Guardian. We want to be in Seeker by the end of this. So that way we can use our fingerprint kit. That seems pretty good. Or we can build up some more. It might be David Renfeld time. Yeah. Let's see, if we play David Renfeld, we'd go down to five, immediately back up to six. We'd be pretty good on resources. you know. Or we could play Prepared for the Worst, then swap in a Seeker, play Fingerprint Kit, and investigate. That actually sounds pretty good. It'll be a little risky for uh, drawing our weakness, but I guess we're just going to have to hope for the best here. All right, here we go. Play Prepared for the Worst, and let's grab the top nine cards of our deck. And I messed them at the bottom nine. Whoops. Ah, still haven't figured out how to do this correctly here. So that and that one are all in the top nine. Let's see what we got. Enchanted Blade. Very nice. Okay, I'll grab that. Okay, flip these back over and shuffle them back in. Shuffle them. <laughs> shuffle them back in. Ah. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Okay, so we've got our enchanted blade. Uh, do we want to put it down now? Ooh. That's pretty tempting to just put it down now and then just be ready to go. We could be really tooled up here. Because if we play Earl Sawyer and Enchanted Blade, or Enchanted Blade and David Renfeld, we'd be uh, ready to go. That would be, that put us in really good shape. Get some soak out, get some resources coming. Yeah, let's do one of those. Okay, so first action we play prepared for the worst. Second action, let's get armed. Third action, 
Okay, so we could swap in a mass strike to play David Renfeld. Uh, that would make Renfeld and the blade would be kind of vulnerable. So let's not do that. Let's actually go into Survivor, so that way we keep our board protected. And we'll get Earl Sawyer out. We're going to be really low on resources. So, um... Yeah, we're going to be able to evade stuff. Well, this is kind of tough, actually. Because if we spend all the resources, we're not going to have a lot of... We're not going to really going to be able to play our fingerprint kit. Uh, let's not do that. Alright, let's take a risk. We'll, um... Swap to Mystic. Play David Renfeld. Okay, and then activate David Renfeld to get a resource. Okay, so if this is Crisis of Identity, we're going to be in trouble. You know, 1 in 17, chance of that happening. Okay. Alright, so that's that. That's our... So now let's resolve the uh, the baddies here. Alright, where does this one go? That one goes towards Old Spring Glen, so it's going to go that way. Okay. And then where does this one go? Cold Spring Glen. So that one goes down here. Okay, so we're staying a, we're staying away from these, which is nice. All right, that ends the turn. Well, not end the turn. We still have to draw a card and take a resource. Come on. Not Crisis of Identity. Very nice. That was that was really risky there. Okay, we refresh Renfeld. Okay, that'll end the turn. So now we're at three doom out of five, and let's take a card. Frozen Fear. Ouch. So moving, fighting, and evading uh, is is rough. Okay. Well, that's not good. Alright, so good news. Uh, we're already in Mystic, so we can use Renfeld again. Alright, and then we can swap into, probably swap into Seeker and use Fingerprint Kit. So that'll be two actions to play Fingerprint Kit and use it. Okay. We'd be at, we'd be down to zero resources. Um, and then our third action... Oh, that's a good question. We, we don't really want to... We can't move away. So I guess we can aim to like take a card or something. No, not, not a card. Probably a resource. Okay, well, either way, we're going to, as a non-action, we'll exhaust David Renfeld. Let's see, we are at three Doom out of five, so let's not add another Doom to him. All right, so non-action, do that. So let's, puts us to the magic four, so that way we can swap in a Seeker, play our fingerprint kit, and then second action, use our fingerprint kit. And so we're going to be at, what, four versus two? That looks pretty good. Minus one. All right, so we get two clues. Whoops. All right, so we've got three clues, and we're going to need two of them at the Watley Ruins. We've still got another one to get here. So let's just investigate normally at three versus two. Let's see, what's the bad stuff? Yeah, we could possibly take horror. Yeah, we could take horror from um, the cultist, possibly, but then we'll get rid of Renfeld if that happens, so it won't be too bad. All right, so we'll investigate a three versus two. Minus one, so we succeed. All right, so we have four clues. We're doing pretty well here. Okay. All right, so that's uh, those are our three actions. So let's resolve where the, the broods of yogg go. Okay, let's start with this one. This one goes towards the 10-acre meadow. All right, so we've got this guy. He's not engaged with us because he's massive, but he's, he, he's on us. Okay, that's not good. Then we'll see where this one goes. Also the, towards the 10-acre meadow. So I guess we get a choice. Let's have him go back here. Okay. All right, so we've got a dangerous brood on us. We're going to need to um, evade it on our next turn. All right, so now we draw a card. Okay, and take a resource. All right, that'll end the turn. Got to refresh our dudes as well. Okay, here we go. We go to four doom out of five. And, oh, we forgot to check for Frozen Fear. Okay, so where were we? We were on Seeker. We had four willpower against difficulty three. And we didn't have a way to, we didn't really have a way to boost it. So let's just check it. Success, okay, so that's gone. All right, we've already boosted the Doom. So now let's see what we get. Another Towering Beast. All right, so we'll just say that this one is getting really big. <laughs> yep. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really big, really big brood there. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do? We need to get away from this thing. Although now would be a time we could get rid of David Renfeld. How much does it do here? Two health, two sanity. So we could just move away. We could just move away and provoke. 
and then that could be our opportunity to get rid of David Renfeld. It's actually not a bad move at this point because what'll happen is our art student would soak up one of the horror and David would be um, David would be dealt with. The question is do we want to swap into um, do we want to swap into mystic to get two resources before we move? So there's 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 some merit to that. Um, we could also use our fingerprint kit at Watley Runes if we don't. Okay, so we're going to at least spend an action moving. And then I guess we'll spend some actions investigating. Let's see, if we gain two resources, we can immediately um, put down Earl Sawyer, and then we'll be really tooled up to evade. And I kind of like that plan. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so non-action, swap into Mystic, activate David Renfeld, get a Doom on him, and gain two resources. Okay, so now we'll second action move over here. Well, first action move over here. We'll provoke from the Brood. He doesn't follow us because he's massive. So David, you're going to take two damage and one of the sanity, and the art student's going to take the other sanity. So thank you for your service, Mr. Renfeld. OK, that's working out pretty well. All right, let's see who we are. OK, so we're going to lose. All right, we're going to lose willpower while in the Wily Runes. And we've got two clues, and we can hurl, hurl paint cans at monsters. OK, three shroud. Okay, so let's. Uh, we've got two actions left. So let's go ahead and advance. Okay, we spend two of our clues. Okay, and let's see what's on the other side of this. Okay, obtaining the formula. All right, Doctor Armitage did survive the uh, Dunwich Legacy. So there, Armitage breathes a sigh of relief, jotting down the last phrases of the formula. I have translated the last of it. He shudders as he hands us the script, the words conjuring forth memories of his battle with the creature. I hope this is the last time I'll have to read it, he admits, but if we do nothing, the end result will be much, much worse. Okay, so we grab Esoteric Formula. Okay, let's go grab that out of here. Okay, looks like there were four copies, so we'll put the other ones back. All right, what does this Esoteric Formula let us do? Let's see. Okay, so this is how we're going to be able to fight the things we get. We have to use our willpower, and we get plus two for each clue on the attack timing. Uh, that explains all the um, that explains all the uh, the 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 abilities on the triggered abilities on the locations. Okay, uses ability only on an abomination enemy. Okay, so we have a way to fight them, and we also have this powder of even Gazi, um, which lets us put more clues on them. Yep, that's right. But they have to be exhausted, so we're gonna have to. So in order to use the powder, we'd have to evade them. Okay, so I'm starting to see a uh, a way to deal with these things, especially since they have six. They have two health, which is not much, but they have their six fight, which is kind of gross. All right, so what do we need to do now? We've got our powder. Let's see what we got here. They must be destroyed. With the formula in hand, we finally have the means to destroy the creatures wreaking havoc in Dunwich, but only if we can survive long enough. All right, so we need, just need to defeat as many of these as we can. Okay. All right, and we're going to have to chew through three of them, through five of them, you know, eventually. But it looks like we can just, we can resign whenever we want. Okay, so we've got these rampaging things. Uh, we have a way of fighting them. We need our um, willpower to do it. Okay. So right now we're at, will, we're at base willpower of three. Uh, and there's no way we're going to be able to hit those things at six. So we're going to have to start putting clues on them. Or we're going to have to do a lot of boosting. Or both. All right, so we need to, we still need to keep getting clues in order to do that. All right, so... Okay, we're not going to be able to fight them very much from here. But evasion is going to be important because if we evade these things, we can use the powder. And if we want to evade, Earl Sawyer is our man to help us. So I'm thinking we'll do second action. We'll play Earl Sawyer. So that way, um, our evasion's up to four, and then um, we use Scrapper to help out, the ra help out with the rest, and then um, we'll be able to evade things and draw cards. Okay. Third action, I mean, we could investigate it three versus three. You know, um, I've already swapped, so I can't use Take Heart, so that doesn't seem that great. I think we stick around and um, wait for this thing to come to us. So what do we need right now? I think we need more resources. So that way, uh, when we swap in a survivor to evade, we'll be able to boost a scrapper. So we'll take a resource as our last action. Okay, so we've got a pretty full board right now. 
This is uh, it's kind of great. All right, here we go. Let's see where these things move. So this one, let's shuffle our bag. Where does it go? Towards the ten-acre meadow, so it stays right where it is. Okay, and then this one, also the ten-acre meadow. Okay, so they are both hanging out there. Okay, just waiting for us. Okay, so now we'll draw a card and take a resource. Ooh, that'll help us get clues. Uh, yeah, that'll help us get clues. Get clues. Maybe not in this location because we have our fingerprint kit, but that's going to be nice. Okay, so new turn. We go to Fort Doom. Okay. Let's see what our what we get. Attracting attention. <laughs> uh oh. Each brood of fruit of Yog Sothoth moves once toward us. Okay, and then it's going to surge. So, yep, they're on us now. We're going to have to do some evasion now. Yeah, fortunately, this does not make their evading tougher. All right, and it surges. Let's see what happens. What do we got? Ruin and destruction. Okay. Each investigator at the same location as a brood of Yog Sothoth takes test evasion three. For each point we fail by, take a damage. Oh, great. Okay, so we're going to have to make a check. So we're at four versus three. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. I mean, we'll take some damage if we fail, but it can go on Earl. All right, here we go. So four versus three. Okay, we succeed. All right, so here we go. It's evasion time. I'm thinking we evade at least we evade both of them. We're gonna have to evade both of them, and then probably get out of here. Uh, we can also use we can also use this. Oh, we could just take one down if we just. No, let's not do that yet. I think we evade both of them, and then we leave. Probably up to the hop yard. Let's see. So we're at four versus three to evade, which is pretty good. Um, we can then drop some powders and some. Yeah, you know, we want to. Since that's only once per game, we want to use all three. We want to have all three clues in order to uh, take mo best advantage of that. All right. So it's evasion time. Okay. What are we at here? We're at four versus three. Uh, we have live and learn to help. We also have to take the initiative here. Um, that'll we have to swap in a um, serve. We have to swap, swap in a guardian for that. But that actually doesn't seem so bad. Let's see. Um, although going to survivor might be better because then we get live and learn. We get live and learn, and we get scrapper. Yeah, let's do that. If there was only one of them, I'd say take the initiative. But since we have to worry about two, yeah, let's do Survivor. Okay, so we go to Evade. Uh, let's bump this one up to... We're Right now we're at one over. Let's bump it up to two over. Okay, so we are at three, four, five versus three. What do we get? <laughs> Ouch! Okay. Well, that's why we have Live and Learn. Okay, let's try that again. Or um, thanks to live and learn, we're also now we're at six versus three. Zero. Okay, so we evade this one. Pretty cool. Okay, now we'll go to evade the other one. Okay, so we're at four versus three. Uh, let's go to five versus three. Okay, we evade that. Excellent. Okay, so we've evaded both of them. Oh, and we got to draw cards off of Earl. Let's do it. Okay, so first we draw a card off the first one. Yep, and then we'll draw a card off the second one. All right, so that's going to give us... Uh, lucky. Very nice. All right, so we've refilled our hand here. All right, so we've got one action left. We uh, we could investigate, but then these would ready. They might move away, though, so maybe that'll be okay. I'm thinking one thing we could definitely do is, since one's evaded, we throw some powder on one of them. In fact, all right, well, let's look at our options. They are six to fight, and each clue um, effectively subtracts two from that. Uh, our willpower is base of three. So if we put two clues on, then we'd be one over. We'd be one over. If we put three clues on one of them, then we'd be three over, which is even better. It might be a little overkill though, but you know we we really need to get rid of these things. I'm thinking that um, since this one has four health and this one has two health, we should get rid of the little one first. All right, so let's use our powder to just really go for one of them here. Okay. We could just start attacking. Although we're only at two willpower versus, we'd be at two plus six is eight versus 
eight versus six. We could, we could. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, eight versus six. Yeah, we'd be minus two in skulls. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's try it. Let's see how we do. Um, next turn, we can swap into um, Seeker to use our fingerprint kit to get the remaining clues. Okay, let's do it. So we're at eight versus six. You know, we attack with this thing. Okay, here we go. Plus one. All right, so we put a damage on this guy. Okay. All right, so that's our turns. So these guys are both evaded, so they don't um, they don't crush us. Let's see where they go. Let's start with the damaged one. Where does it go? Devil's Hop Yard. Well, we were planning to go up there anyway. Oops. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, come back. Oh no, all the clues. Yeah, the tokens they fall all over the place. Okay, and let's see where this one goes. Okay, shuffle this up some more. Ten Acre Meadow. All right, so this one head, heads back there. Okay, so we're safe to investigate now, which is nice. All right, that's the enemy phase, so now we'll draw. And take a resource. Okay, look what I found. Okay, we're getting a pretty full hand here, so which is a, a nice place to be. All right, new turn. Oh, this is going to be bad, because looks like, yep, agenda's advancing. Let's see what happens. Calamity strikes. An old pickup truck rolls to a stop along the weathered trails of Dunwich. The driver, Joe Osborne, calls out to us through a shattered driver's side window. The truck's engine still running. It's over at the Eric's farm, he shouts. Dunn blasts their place apart. Poor Henry and Martha. We ask Osborne for the location of the Eric's homestead, and it confirms our worst fear. For that attack to have occurred recently, there must be more of the monsters on the loose. Oh, geez. So we sh a shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck, and then we get another brood of Yog sothoth Great. Okay, so let's shuffle that. Okay. And then I guess we'll spawn a new brood here. And we're going to spawn it at... Wait, I didn't shuffle. i got to shuffle this bag first. Okay, where does it go? Dunwich Village. Okay. All right, so we've got three of these. We need to get rid of that one pretty quick. All right, that was our doom, and now let's do the bad stuff. What do we got? Another frozen in fear. Oh, that's not good. So moving is going to cost us two actions. That's not where we want to be. Yeah, so I, I don't think we're going to be able to fight it this turn. All right, so I'm thinking what we'll do here is we'll focus on getting those two clues. And then third action, not sure what we'll do. Okay. Yeah, not sure what we'll do. Okay, what's our shroud? We have three shroud to worry about. With fingerprint kit, we'll be at four. And I guess we can boost with magnifying glass to go up to five. We don't really need the hand right now. Okay, five versus three sounds good. Okay, so let's swap into Seeker and use our fingerprint kit. Okay, go to five versus three. Ah. Oh, we're going to fail that. Oh well, three, four, five versus three. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, we could investigate again at three versus three, but this doesn't seem so great. Yeah, we've already used our swap. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay. That's too bad. Okay, so I guess we'll just take some resources because moving is going to end our turn. I mean, we can investigate at three versus three, but that seems unlikely to su to succeed. Okay, so we'll uh, take some resources, okay, and then that'll be that. So now let's resolve the baddies. All right, so the damaged one, let's see where it goes. Oh, we got to check Frozen and Fear. So we're at, we're only at three versus three. This is, uh, this is not looking so good. Yeah, it's not looking so good. Maybe uh, swapping a Seeker was a mistake. All right, well, let's see what happens. Oh, that's been refreshed for a long time now. All right, here we go. Yeah, we fail that. Okay, so we're still freezing in fear. Okay, we gotta we're gonna have to get rid of that pretty soon. Okay. Alright, let's resolve the bad guys. This one? It's gonna head to the blasted heath, so it goes that way. It's running away from us. Okay. The super tough one heads to Cold Spring Glen, so we'll say it goes that way. Okay, and the third one. The third one heads to the Blasted Heath. All right, so we've got two of them up there. I think we're going to go chase those two down. 
as soon as we get rid of our frozen fear, that is. All right, so that ends the enemy phase. So now we draw a card and take a resource. Okay, don't really need a machete. We've already got our enchanted blade. Okay, so new turn. We go to one doom. Okay. And let's see what we get. Rune and destruction. There are no investigators at the same location as the brood. It gains surge. Dang it. Because we could that's a check we could make. What do we got? Attracting attention. Oh no. <laughs> they come towards us. Okay. Well, I guess they're a little closer now. Uh, that's, that's not so bad. Okay. And then that surges. This is what I'm scared of. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. This thing is tough to fight and it's got four hit points. Oh, that's 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 rough. Okay. I mean we could fight it, but we don't because we don't have ranged firearms or spells. Ouch. Okay, this is gonna be a... Oh, this the they're starting to swarm us here. Okay, and then according to Frozen Fear, evading costs a, costs two actions. This is this is rough. Okay, so what are our options here? We've got some resources now. I'm thinking we just gotta evade this thing and then head down to the to the glen. Yeah. Uh, it also might be, let's see, it might be elusive time. Let's see, if we use elusive, we can end up back, like, probably at the heath. Now, we need to, what we need to do is we need to get into a position where we can boost our check against um, against Frozen and Fear. What can let us do that? Um, Perseverance will let us do that. Okay. So that one, that means we want to be in Survivor for that. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll evade... Evade for two actions, move as our third action. Yeah, then test against frozen fear. If we're a, if we're a survivor, that'll open up lucky and perseverance. Okay, that seems like a seems like a pretty decent plan. Um, and then we'll be able to boost our check to uh, deal with frozen and fear. Okay, so we'll swap in a survivor. Um, let's evade. So we are at four versus three. Let's bring it up to we've got lucky so they'll bring it up to five six versus three okay so we successfully evade okay and so let's uh let's draw a card since um our weakness doesn't hurt us right now okay good okay that's gonna be really useful actually okay so that's two of our actions uh third action let's get out of here okay and what do we got no clues each enemy gets minus one to evade, okay. And then after Cold Spring Glen is chosen as a random location, an investigator in Cold Spring Glen can contest evasion three. If successful, choose a different random location. Okay, so I see. The thick shadows and crowded trees make these woods a good hiding place. Okay, so we can hide from the broods of Yak Sothoth. Alright, that's all our actions. Now we're gonna go test against Frozen Fear. Um, as much as I hate to do this at this point, let's we can either so we have some choices. We can burn the perseverance and be at five versus three, or we can um, play take heart, and maybe fail it. No, we don't want to do that because uh, we've got luckies to to help us through. So let's let's just uh, check normally and then use lucky uh, to get us over. Yeah, although we've got another perseverance in the deck. Yeah, we really need to get rid of this thing. So we'll burn our perseverance to be at five versus three on the willpower check. Cultist. Cultist is reveal another token. Okay, so we we are successful. Okay. All right, we got rid of frozen fear. That's good. All right, so now hunters hunt. So that one he refreshes, and then we'll see where these three go. All right, so we'll start with the the giant one. It goes towards Dumb's village. Okay. We'll start with the damaged. Then we'll continue with the damaged one. It go, goes towards. Cold Spring Glen. Uh, we could have it. We could have it reroll, but it's okay. We can have it go here. Okay. And then third one, the fresh one, heads towards stays where it is. Okay. Whoops. Okay. So we have nothing on us. That's good. Now we'll draw a card and take a resource. Okay. So now we're at our full eight. That's why I didn't have Earl Sawyer. Um, Give us a card because we're going to be at pretty full here. All right, so new turn. Two doom, and let's see what we get. Not another frozen fear. Thank goodness. Okay, so we can't play allies 
and the printed text box of each ally is blank. Oh, nasty. So Earl's not helping us right now. And then I guess we test another willpower check in order to um, in order to shake this off. Okay, so things aren't looking so great right now. Um, we've we've successfully shed frozen in fear. Uh, we can hide out in the glen, um, but this thing is going to hunt us, and we're going to have a really hard time fighting this thing because we don't have ranged firearms or spells in this deck. Okay. We could walk up and kill this thing, and then maybe evade the avian thrall. That actually seems like a good plan at this point. Um, we could move, engage both, attack the brood, get rid of it, and then probably evade the avian thrall. Uh, doesn't seem like a bad idea. Another possibility is elusive. The problem with elusive is the only place we could go is the ten acre meadow. This is not so great. All right. So so let's uh, let's try to evade that guy. All right, so we're going to be at minus one willpower. So we're going to be at two willpower. So eight against six. We've got lucky. So that'll help us get rid of the, um, get rid of that thing. Okay. Well, here we go. So we'll move back into the uh, the Watley ruins. We'll engage the avian thrall. We'll give the clues back to the the brood, and now we'll attack the brood. We are at eight versus six. Okay. Here we go. 8 versus 6, we'll rely on Lucky here. Okay. Cultist, minus 2, so we succeed. Okay, so we've gotten rid of one of the broods. One of five. Good stuff. All right, third action. We don't want to get attacked by this thing, so we're probably going to have to evade it. We're at 3 versus 3 right now, and we've got a Scrapper to back us up. So that's good. Okay, let's do that. Um, we'll evade. Let's go two over. Okay, so we want it because we want to save resources to be able to play lucky. Okay, so we'll evade at five versus three. Oh, ouch! Well, that's why we have lucky in order to uh, you know deal with that. Okay, so it's evaded. That's our three actions. So um, we go to the bat. We go to the uh, enemy phase. It reengages us. And now let's see what happens here. Let's do the little one. Okay, the little one. Oh, we forgot. We need to uh, test. We need to test willpower for unhallowed country. All right, so we're at three versus three. We have really no way of boosting it. Um, we don't even have lucky anymore. So this seems like an appropriate time to play take heart. Yeah, take heart would. We're gonna have like too many cards if we do that. We don't need the machete anymore because we're not using our strength checks like at all. Yeah, take art seems good here. Okay, so we'll test at three versus three. Skull. Skull is minus two, so we fail. Um, so that sticks around. And we'll draw two cards off of take art and gain two resources. Okay, so we've got some sandy soak. We're going to get some more. That's We're probably going to need this for um, its icons. Okay. So we've done that. Uh, I wish we had a live and learn here. That would be really nice. Okay. Yeah, we've already failed, so we can't use that. Okay, so now we check for movement. So where does this one go? It heads to the Blasted Heath, thank goodness, because we really didn't want two baddies on us at the same time. And let's see where this one goes. Also to the Blasted Heath. Great, they're together. All right, now we draw a card and take a resource. So we have too many cards in hand. Um, as mentioned before, we really aren't using um, we really aren't using strength um, combat checks right now. So we could just get rid of this thing. Um, on th at the same time, though, we could try to take care of the avian thrall, and we could really we could really use guardian to do it. So what aren't we going to need? I think we get rid of actually the drawn to the flame. How are we doing on clues? Well, we have a fingerprint kit to get that. There's going to be clues here, and there's going to be clues there. Uh, it's not so we can use these next turn to try to take this thing out. And use that next turn. Okay, so between take the initiative and these two, we might be able to switch into guardian and actually take this guy out. Yeah, that seems pretty. We have decent odds of doing it. So what we don't need is drawn to the flame right now. Sadly to say, although. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, new turn. 
what are we at? We had three Doom out of six. And I'm guessing another one spawns when we hit six. So I'd like to get at least one more off the board. All right. Counter card? Oh, no. Whippoorwill. It's going to lower our skill checks even more. Oh, God. Okay. This is problematic. All right. So if we're going to go evade this thing, we're going to be at... Or if we're going to attack this thing, we're going to be at... Normally, it would be at five. But thanks to the Whippoorwill, we're at four versus five. That is ugly unless we throw a lot of resource unless we throw a lot of cards at it this might not be the best worst idea because this thing is is pretty mean um it's going to keep haunting us keep hunting us so we could swap into guardian uh we're at four versus five we could use take the initiative go to seven versus five which is like pretty decent odds and then we can attack again with um by burning the machete, the enchanted blade, and improvisation. So we burn half our hand and hopefully we get rid of it. Um, okay, so that's one plan. The other plan is we can try to evade it. We're going to be at two versus three since we don't have Earl and we have a Whippoorwill. We could rely on Scrapper and Lucky to get us through. Okay, so we evade. We could then. So we have to. We're already in. Yeah, I guess we're already in Survivor. We could evade it, and then we could swap into... Then we could investigate and probably lean on Look What I Found. Oh, man, we're going to run out of resources, though, if we do that. Okay. Okay. But either way, we got to deal with this thing somehow. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we evade it one more time. We'll get to we won't get to trigger Earl, which is sad. And we gotta get, we got to get out of this location so that way we can do better at testing against Unhallowed Country. Probably going to have to head up to the Hop Yard so we can start confronting these things. Gosh. Yeah, this is kind of rough right now. We're just we're getting overwhelmed. Okay, so let's get underwhelmed. Let's uh, give you the... Gosh. Yeah, this is, this is kind of tough because... If we take this thing out, it won't keep following us around. We could also try. We could also kill this thing. It's first action engage, second action attack. I can't remember if engage provokes. It probably does. All right, so whew, um, we got to take this thing down. If we. We can throw it, we can throw everything into attacking it, and then probably third action investigate. Yikes! Yikes! We could move provoke just to stay away from the whipper will. Put a damage on Earl. I guess we can get rid of the art student with with by provoking. Then we can attack it twice. And we'd be at five versus five. Although take the initiative kind of goes down as we do that. So if we're going to attack it, we need to start attacking it with our first attack. Okay, if we were evade, we'd probably want to go to probably to the Cold Spring Glen because we don't want both of them on us immediately. Oh, we got to get these clues though. Yeah, this is this is rough. Okay, so we could like evade it, then engage the Whippoorwill, then attack for one damage and just get rid of the Whippoorwill. Yeah, it's, it feels inefficient, but don't get rid of the whippoorwill. Yeah, all the choices we have. Well, we want to get out of this location, so that way we can... Um, we got to get away from the whippoorwill. And I guess also out of this location. Because if we stay where we are, we're going to be at 1 versus 3 to get rid of Unhallowed Country and then get Earl back. All right, so whatever we do, we want to leave the spot. Whether we kill the Avon Thrall or not. Okay, I'm thinking we actually take the AO, so that way um, we don't have the whippoorwill sitting on us when we attack the avian thrall okay so we're gonna go to cold spring glen yeah that seems fine okay here we go move uh take an ao from the avian thrall we'll assign we'll assign it all to the art student okay now we'll swap into guardian and go for it. Okay, so second action will attack. We're going to be at three, four, five versus five. We'll make that seven versus five since we've already taken an action. 
and then we'll do 8 versus 5. Okay, that's pretty good. Skull. Skull is minus 2. Okay, so we do 2 damage. Okay, so we're at, then we'll, uh, third action, we'll attack again. Okay, and then we're going to go out 5, 6, 7, 8 versus 5 once more. Minus 1. Okay, so we have taken this thing down. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that thing won't haunt us. That thing won't come after us, but we're still... We've still got a lot to deal with. Yeah. All right. End our turn. We'll um, test against Unhallowed Country. We're at three versus three. So once again, we're uh, still hoping for the best here. I wish we could swap into Survivor again. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Three versus three. Okay. Yeah, we failed that. Okay. So Earl is still blank. Okay. He's still providing us with his, uh, you know, soak, though. All right. Okay, so let's resolve hunters. Whippoorwill follows us, and then we'll see where these guys go. We'll start with the small one. Cold Spring Glen. Okay, I don't mind that, and so it'll go to Dunwich Village. We kind of want to go here next turn anyway. So, yep. Okay, and then the big one also goes to the Cold Spring Glen, so we'll have it. It tries to travel directly. Kind of wish. So now might be a good chance to hmm so let's think about it maybe we could we could uh, try to reroll and maybe get it to go that way all right what are our options here so if we were to next turn move over to Dunwich Village um, we could then we'd be attacking at basically three versus six we could evade it as our second action put the powder on and put that on one of our clues so then we'd be attacking at seven versus six yeah, I don't think that's quite good enough yet. That's not quite good enough. I I think we're gonna I think we're gonna spend this turn trying to go get these clues and try to get the Holy Rosary down. So that way we'd be um we'll be in better shape to fight these things. Okay. So what that means is we'll let this happen. Okay. So now we draw a card and take a resource. Okay. Don't need the second Holy Rosary, but it gives us a uh, willpower icon for uh, throwing you know throwing formula at these things. All right. New turn. Here we go. Altered Beast. Oh, jeez. Choose an abomination enemy, heal all damage, and attach Altered Beast to it. When you enter, attach an enemy's location or vice versa. Take a horror. All right, I think I know what we're going to do here. We're going to have to, like, just stay away from the, the giant one, you know, that has all these buffs on it. So we'll just, we'll just have one big one that we're just going to try to stay away from for a while. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. So first action, let's, let's, uh, let's go get these clues. So we'll head over here. All right, we're if we investigate, we're at three versus three. Um, fingerprint kit puts us as four versus three. Yeah, uh, I wish we could be two over. Um, and also we'd have to swap, and we wouldn't be able to play Holy Rosary. Yeah, I really want to play Holy Rosary this turn. Okay, so so we'll do is first action we'll move, second action let's just. So I guess we could either swap in a seeker, use the use the fingerprint kit, okay, or we can swap in a survivor and rely on look what I found. That actually seems better, but then we won't get to be able to get the holy rosary down. And then once we do that, third action, we could probably head up to the hop yard. Okay, so if we can grab both these clues, this this action. And then head up to the hop yard, that'd be great. Alright, so in order to best do that, I think our odds are better if we use look what I if we rely on look what I found. So I'll swap in a survivor. Alright, second action investigate. Zero. So <laughs> unfortunately we succeed. <laughs> I wanted a minus one or a minus two. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll Stay here and assume we're not gonna free Earl Sawyer. Gosh. Or we can move up. This thing's gonna hunt us. Yeah, let's move out of here. I hate to leave a clue behind, but let's do it. Okay. Ooh, only one trout. Very nice. Okay. So we like being there. Alright, so that's our that's our three actions, and now we'll test three versus three on unhallowed country. We're a survivor, so Lucky might help us here. 
Super success. All right, so that's gone. Earl's turned back on. And now we get to choose a role to be in. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be Mystic. Although we still haven't drawn our crises of identity. And we have a Mystic asset on the board. Um, let's... Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Okay, um, I think we do. Because if we become a Mystic... We can next turn put down Holy Rosary, swap into Seeker, and use our Fingerprint Kit. And that seems like a pretty good momentum play there. We've removed the last guy from the board, so we may not even need this Enchanted Blade anymore. I mean, we still got Time Board Brand coming up. Okay, so we get our free swap to go into Mystic, and then now we'll resolve the Hunters. So he hunts. Okay, well, let's resolve where the big one goes. Okay, it heads, stays in Dunwich Village. Okay, and then we'll decide where the little one goes it heads to the Devil's Hop Yard. So the little one, we'll just have it go that way. Okay, well it kind of has to, it goes directly. Okay, so now we get to draw a card. Ooh, uh, it's not a Christ of Identity, but it's Hyperchondria. All right, we've been doing a really good job of not taking damage, so this hasn't hurt us yet. Okay, and then take a resource. All right, new turn. Okay, we're at five out of six. Okay, so we're about to get another one. All right, here we go. The creature's tracks. You must either take two horror or spawn a set-aside brood at a random location. Ouch. Ouch, we spawn another brood or take two horror. Wow. Um. Yeah, horror's nasty, but I mean, I guess we're like primed to start fighting a new one. And then we're gonna get another one next turn and then they'll all be on the board. Oh, that's going to be so awful. Um, how are we doing on clues? We've got... If we, if we get clues here and clues here, we're going to have most of the clues we're ever going to get this game. Hmm. I think we need to play safe and take horror. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to take some horror. We'll assign one to Earl Sawyer and one to us. Yeah. We're about to get another horror soak out, so that'll help. All right, so first action, let's... Do what we were saying we're gonna do. We're gonna play Holy Rosary. Alright. Give us some more horror soak. Swap into Seeker. And let's try to get the two clues. Okay. So we're gonna be at four versus one. Is that correct? Yeah. Cultist. Whoops. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, we fail. Okay. So we um take a horror. Great. Not a good time for that. Okay. Third action. Um, this thing's going to come for us. That thing's going to come for us. We don't want to walk into it, so I guess we'll investigate again. Yeah, we've already swapped, so we'll just investigate three versus one. Ah, come on. Okay. All right, so that's our three actions. Hunter's hunt. And now let's see where they go. Little one. Blossed Heath, so he stays there. It's actually a good thing, because we can go chase it. And now this one. Watley Ruins, so he goes across here. Alright, now it's our turn to draw a card. Okay, live and learn. Quite useful. And take, take a resource. Alright, so our fingerprint kit, kit is done, and so what we'll probably be using it for is Act of Desperation, to fight something. Okay. Alright, so new turn. We're going to go to Six Doom. Okay, let's see what happens here. No place to hide. Shuffle the encounter, discard problems in the encounter deck. If there is a set aside brood of Yog Sothoth, Sothoth, um, then bleak storm clouds turn overhead and a blanket of rain pelts the countryside. As the downpour grows in intensity, we take refuge in a half ruined shack nearby. There is a flash of lightning, and in the brief illumination, we spot the outline of something large in the rain. Without warning, the distant trees bend, though nothing seems to be bending them. Moments later, a force with the strength of a truck crashes, crashes into our refuge. Okay, so we spawn a Brugiog Spothoth at our, at our location. Ouch. And then we test... Dang. And then we test uh, evasion to see, and if we fail, like, we get attacked. Wow. Okay, so we are down to three evasion because of the Whippoorwill. That's awful. Okay, so we're at three versus four right now. Oof. I think it's time to swap in a survivor and boost with Scrapper. 
We're at three versus four. We really don't want to take damage here. So let's go up to six versus four. That saves Lucky. Okay, here we go, six versus four. Okay, so we succeed. We don't get attacked. All right, Horrors Unleashed. Each Abomination gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Oh, they're getting tougher. Ow, and we have seven Doom. We're probably gonna have to get out of here. This is not looking good. Okay, freaking Whipper Will. Yeah, we're gonna have to, fortunately, the way out is, <laughs> all right, so we can afford to stick around a little longer um, because we can just bail if we need to. Okay, so we've got this thing to evade. We are at four. We're at three versus three right now, thanks to this freaking whipper whale here. We're down to one resource, so I mean we have live and learn and lucky to help us evade. That seems great. That'll let us draw a card with Earl Sawyer. Uh, if we evade, we move. We evade again. Uh, I wish we could just start attacking. All right. Well, what's the ability on Devil's Hop Yard? We could put two clues on a thing, so that would. That would give us plus four to our willpower checks. What's our willpower at? Willpower is at four normally. Minus one for the Whipper Whale makes three. If we put two clues on him, then we'd be at seven versus six. Not great. Not great. Oh, actually, seven versus seven, because they're they've gotten tougher. Okay, so things are not looking so good for us. We're uh, we're trapped in this extended. Extended dance with whippoorwills and hunters. Okay, so let's evade and see what happens. We we need to evade this this thing because we don't want to take a bunch of damage. They are it's four to evade and we are at three. Dang. Oof, this is not looking good. It's not looking good. We're at f their evade is four. Yep, and we're at three. Ouch. Okay, well, we have live and learn. All right, well we got to do it. We don't really have a lot of options at this point. We we've got to get out of here. So, okay, so we're at three against four. Oh baby. <laughs> okay, that's that was nice. All right, so we evade, and then let's have use Earl to draw a card. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's going to help us with more checks. Okay. Okay, so now I'm thinking we get rid of this freaking Whippoorwill, and we can get a bunch of resources while doing it. I like that. Okay. Second action, engage the Whippoorwill. Uh, third action, let's throw our fingerprint kit at the Whippoorwill. Uh, so exhaust us to the plan. Use active desperation. Discard our fingerprint kit. All right, so we're going to be at one, two, three, seven. Minus one is uh, six versus two. I like where this is going. Okay. Oh yeah, and with our free um, with our free swap, we need to stay in Survivor to do this. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, so we take out the Whipper Will and gain four resources. Okay, so that was all three of our actions. Okay, so we've gained a little bit of ground there. I mean, it didn't seem like much, but um, I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna start. We we just need to take down one of these things. They've only got two health. All right. So here we go. Um, we refresh all the baddies, and now let's see where they move to. Let's start with the one at the Blasted Heath. It moves to Ten Acre Meadow. So it goes that way. Whoops. So much for uh, elusiving out. Okay, let's see where this one goes. It goes towards Dunwich Village, so it goes that way, which is kind of good. And then let's see where the big one goes. Devil's Hop Yard. Uh, so it goes here. Oh, one thing one thing we should do while we're here, um, and while we evaded that thing, let's back up a little bit. Let's trigger this. Yeah. Okay. So we put two of our clues on it, and while it was evaded, we'll put our um, last even Gazi clue on it before it runs away. Yeah, that's a little bit of a retcon, but it's something I should have remembered. All right, I'll, um, I guess I'll put a resource on this location, a mark that we've used the once per game. There we go. Okay, so this one is actually, uh, we can actually fight this thing. 
uh, it's going to be seven to fight and then effectively a minus six for three crews. So it's basically one to fight against our four willpower. I like our odds of being able to take on a second one. Okay, so we've done all the uh, we've done the enemy phase. So now we'll draw a card. And oh, crisis of identity. All right, it's bound to happen sometime. Let's see what we turn into. We turn into a seeker. Okay, and then we'll take a resource. Okay. All right, new turn. One doom out of seven, and that's the last agenda. So we're running out of time. Let's see what we get. God dang, not again. Oh, frozen fear again. Oh, that is mean. Okay, so what do we do here? Moving, what is it? Moving, fighting, and evading costs more actions. Oh, that's gross. All right, so I guess we're going to have to stay at this location and get, our clue, get the clues. Because if we were to move, take two actions to move, and then I, we'd have to like evade it, we wouldn't get to fight it. Um, and if we fought it, we'd only get one shot at it, and then it would hit us back, which is kind of awful because we don't have infinite horror, and we've got this hypochondria. All right, so let's just try to get clues here, and then try to test frozen fear. All right, here we go. So we are at three versus one to investigate. Let's swap into survivor, because, I mean, if we really fail it, we can do look what I found. We've got a decent amount of resources at this point. Okay, so here we go. We're at three versus one to investigate. Nice. Okay, so we succeed. Um, do we want to get rid of hypochondria now? while we're just chilling out. There's nothing here that's like immediately gonna hit us for some damage, so let's... It's risky, but let's keep the hypochondria. Alright, second action, investigate again. So we're at three versus one. Uh, we fail that. And let's... not use look what I found here. Let's just... Um, let's just investigate a third time. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, we fail. All right, I don't want to spend any more time investigating, so let's see. We'll just burn our liquid I found. Okay, to get this last clue. Okay. All right, so now we'll test frozen fear. We are at four versus three, and we've got live and learn and lucky to back us up. So that's nice. Cultus, which means we get another one. Minus one, so we succeed. Okay, so that's gone. All right, man, those look those uh those action drainers are really hurting. Okay, now we'll resolve the bad guys. We'll start with the big one. It goes heads back towards Dunwich Village. Okay, now we'll resolve the uh, one we haven't put clues on. It goes towards Devil's Hop Yard, so it goes this way, and then this one. Ten Acre Meadow. Okay, so it's gonna go down here. Okay, so the one with that we are, you know, target locked and ready to take on is kind of far away from us. All right, well, let's see what we get here. Draw a card. Draw a card, take a resource. Okay, more soak. Very good. All right, go to two doom, and let's see what we get. Not another frozen fear. Eager for death. Okay, test willpower two. Increase the skill, the test difficulty by one for each damage on you. We have no damage, so that's great. Okay, so we are at four versus two. Success. Nice. Nice to finally get a break. Okay. So we could go and we could go after this one. Um, we can move. Uh, see, let's see, how many clues do we have here? Three. So maybe we'll get a break by um, the location will let us, you know, throw some clues on it, and then we can actually start attacking. And uh, that seems pretty good. We can just throw everything we can into actually fighting this thing. Um, uh, uh, the other option, I think, would be going back here, using the art student, and then, I guess, moving down to Old Spring, Cold Spring Glen? Um, this one, I think... So that seems more um, like a like we're kind of dilly-dallying if we go down there. And this way, I think, especially if we get a chance to actually put some clues on it, um, we could really push forward and actually try to get some victory points and try to actually win the game. All right, so here we go. Okay, we're going to be brave. What do we got? Okay, four shroud. Ouch. Okay, so we can lure the creature into a patch of sand, put two clues on it. Okay, so if we put two two of our clues on it, which we're totally going to do, that's there's no doubt about that. We have the clues, we've got to use them. All right, so we get plus four to attack it. Its fight is seven. Its fight is seven. Um, we're at four on willpower, and then 
we get four more. So we're going to be at eight versus seven. We need to hit them twice. What do we have to boost us? We have perseverance. We have lucky. We have live and learn. We have unexpected courage. Okay, so we actually have a pretty decent odds here. Um, so we're going to hope to hit twice because if we if we uh, if we miss, then it's going to hit us and hypochondria is going to come in and it's going to be awful. Okay, so here we go. All right, so second action will attack it. Uh, as, as specified, we are at eight versus seven. So how do we want to boost? Let's um, let's hang out and use live and learn on this one because there's no it doesn't have retaliate. So if we were to miss, um, we'll just use live and learn. Okay, so eight versus seven. Here we go. Minus two. We fail. Lucky. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Lucky. Lucky puts us over. So we do a damage. Okay. Very nice. Okay, now let's try again. So we'll do eight versus seven. Zero. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we have taken down a second one. Okay. Very good. All right. That was all three of our actions. Okay, so we still have some more clues to get, and we can... Um, we, I think we can shoot for taking down this one for sure. Uh, I have a feeling this one's going to be too big, so... Yeah, we'll shoot for taking down this one. All right, so that's all three of our actions. Let's um, resolve where they go. Let's start with the one we've already put clues on. That head stays right where it is, so we might go chase it. Uh, and then the big one, Blasted Heath. So, oh, that's no good. Okay, it's also at Dunwich Village. Yeah, it's not good at all. We need to get them apart. Okay, well, let's draw a card and take a resource. Okay, so new turn, three out of seven, and what do we got? Rotting remains. I guess it still exists. All right, so we have to test willpower three, and if we fail, we take horror. Ah, oh, mean. Okay, it's not enough horror to uh, let to trigger perseverance. So let's use unexpected courage on this. All right, so now we're at six versus three. Minus one. Okay, so we uh, we don't take three horror. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we don't want to charge in yet because that brood is still there. So I'm thinking we try to go for these clues. Um, we're not very good at it, but we have an art student to help us. So I'm thinking we swap in a seeker, use the art student. That's first action, and then we'll have two action, two other actions to do stuff. Um. We could try investigating at three versus four and then relying on look what I found and live and learn. No, let's not do that. In fact, let's get to this hypochondria and put the art student down. That seems fine. Two actions to uh, get rid of the hypochondria, then we'll swap in a seeker and play art student. Okay, so that gives us more soak and another clue. Okay, we also need to mark that we uh, use this, this locations once per game. So we don't try to do it again. Okay. So that was a quick turn. Uh, let's see where the bad guys go. Let's start with the one we've already put clues on. It goes to the Devil's Hop Yard. So it actually comes in. We've got them right where we want them. All right. And then the other one. Blasted Heath. Dang it. It follows. No. Oh, now we take a horror when it enters our location. Great. Okay. So we do, we'll take it. We'll have the art student take it. Okay. All right, so now we draw a card. Ooh, through the gates. All right, so let's remove, draw the top card of our deck. Okay, it is not a weakness, so we remove from the game. Okay, so let's just put this over here. All right. Put it over there. And then it says, okay, and then search for each other copy of that card. We don't have any more copies of Survival Instinct. Okay. All right, then take a resource. Okay, thank goodness we didn't. Uh, I guess that's about as good as it could have been. Um, all right, so we've drawn. Now we get a new turn. Oops, what's that doing there? That should be in our discard pile. <laughs> okay, so we already did the Doom. Counter card. Riding remains again. Okay. So we are at four versus three. Yep, just going to have to take it. Oh, we fit. We succeed. Very nice. Okay. 
here we go. All right, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll attack this thing twice and then evade that thing. Yeah, what's its evasion up to? Uh, its evasion is not boosted by by any of its buffs, so its evasion is four. All right, so we'll attack this thing twice because we've got three clues on it. Yeah, so that's effectively a plus six. Um, so it's effective. So it means it's effective plus six. So we are at ten versus seven. That I think our odds are pretty good. So what are we going to swap into? Let's swap into Survivor. So that opens up Live and Learn. Okay. So we are at ten versus seven. All right. Here we go. First action. Success. We do a damage. All right. Second action. Attack again at 10 versus 7. Skull. Skull is minus 2. So we do another damage. We've taken out another one. Oh, yes. It's double checking. Yep. Alright, so that is a third one in the victory display. Okay, one more to go. I don't think we're going to be able to deal with this one. It's just too large. Okay, but... So I guess we've already swapped, so we can't use elusive. So we'll evade this guy. What's its evade? Its evade is four. We are at four. Okay, how can we boost? Not really. We'll have to rely on, oh, we've got Scrapper. All right, so let's go two over. Yeah, I guess we can go two over and rely on live and learn so we don't have to burn all our resources. Let's go three over because we're gonna get another one back and that'll open up Perseverance again. Okay, so we're going to be three over on evasion. Success. Okay, so we evade and draw from Earl Sawyer. Okay. All right. So he's evaded. Okay, feeling good. All right, so now we'll resolve the baddies. So he refreshes, and let's see where he goes. Devil's Hop Yard. Okay. So he leaves. He runs away from us. Okay, so now we get to draw a card. And take a resource. All right, new turn. We're at five of seven doom. And let's see what happens. What do we got? Ruin and destruction. It gains surge. Okay. Loop and thrall. Farthest location from us. Okay. So the farthest is going to be here. All right. So what are our options? We need to deal four damage to this thing. It is nine to fight. We're at four. So we'd have to put clues on it. We could put up to three clues that way. If we do that, so it's nine to fight, we're at four. If we put three clues on it, we're at 10 versus nine. So we're gonna have to lure it around. We have to lure it here and here to be at 12 versus nine, and then we'd have a good chance of fighting it. We still have to fight it four times. We have two doom left. so. I think we just need to leave. We've dealt with three of the five. I don't want to know what's on the other side of that. So I think we just head out and resign. Uh, I don't see any other way to get. I don't see any other way to get victory points on the board. This thing's not worth a victory point. So I think we just, uh, you know, pat ourselves in the back. Um, you know, take Earl Sawyer with us and uh, and leave leave Dunwich. I think that's how this is going to go. Uh, there's no way we're going to be able to get all five of them. Yeah. Because we can't spawn that one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, first action move, second action resign. Hide from the creatures. Okay. So that was actually an interesting scenario. Um, that one can really. We got swarmed there, uh, especially by the uh, Avian Thrall. And that was giving us a lot of trouble. Um, it was actually starting to look really dicey because we had like three um, broods on the board. Um, but it wasn't until we were able to start. We had a couple of turns where we were stopped and drawing freaking treacheries that required willpower checks, and we were able to start pushing forward. And then we were able to take out three of them. So I think that's a pretty good result. That one, I don't. We weren't going to be able to get it done in two turns. That thing. I mean. We just don't have the willpower to do it. Okay, so let's go to the resolutions. Okay, okay, no resolution was reached, so we go to resolution one. We did all we could to stop the rampaging monsters, but there were more of them than we realized, and we weren't able to slay them all. 
Exhausted and terrified, we retreat to Zebulon's home and hope to survive the night. Okay, so we record that two brood escaped in the wild. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and okay, we remove the powder of Evangazi, and then we gain experience equal to the victory X value. So we had each one of those is worth one, so we get three three, four, five experience points. So I'll make a mark note of that. Okay, and then we lose the powder. Okay, so uh, I'll have to say, I have to say that um, Perseverance was working out pretty well. Um, I did not feel afraid of dying, <laughs> which was really nice. And the fact that I had willpower, that was, um, even though the first one we used was act actually really came in handy to be able to um, defeat one of the, uh, the broods here. Um, six of the plan was pretty incredible because um, we didn't have to draw those three cards and we got that good boost. So uh, all right, so next time we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be climbing a hill. So uh, until then, uh, have a good night.